the topic of the night, what do you do when sex becomes boring? Number one, I need us to work on our effective communication. Now, I know this is an adult conversation and we're going to get to the nice, nasty stuff in a minute. But let's be realistic. A lot of relationships fail because somebody's not communicating effectively. And then somebody is not open to the communication on the other side. If this is your life partner, if this is the person that you have decided that you are going to spend the rest of your, of your life with, you have to learn how to effectively communicate your wants and your needs to your partner. Men and women alike. I understand it's a tough conversation. I understand that it's uncomfortable. I understand that it might be a slight hit to your ego. I understand that you think you're doing your thing in the bedroom. And you'll never find another one like me. I get it. But as we age, as we grow, as we mature, our wants and our needs change. And your partner should be able to express to you what they need, what they want. You should be able to express to your partner what you need and what you want. And if my if my job is to be your wife, then there are certain needs that I should be able to meet and vice versa for husband. So the very first thing I think that we should do is have a effective method of communication and letting our partners know, baby, you know I love you. And I know that this has never had to have a conversation. We've never had to have this type of conversation again, I mean, before. However, I don't know if it's because it's become a routine. I don't know if it's because my body's changing, your body's changing, but I think we need to try some new things. We're, we're becoming too comfortable. Ain't nothing wrong with a routine because the routine get us in and get us out. But I don't want to shortchange you. And I know you don't want to shortchange me. Do y'all see how much different that is then? And you don't satisfy me anyway with that look. You can't do them like that, lady. Well, when I was with my ex-girlfriend, I never had to ask her to do. You cannot do that, sirs. Because if you wanted your ex-girlfriend, you should have been over there. And if his was that little, you shouldn't have married him. So we're not going to do that, okay? We are going to be mature. And we are going to face this thing head on because you love them, right? You love her, right? You are committed and you have made a lifelong commitment. Y'all are going to sit down and y'all are going to have a conversation. And we're going to be open to listening to what the other person has to say. Correct? We have an understanding that in order for you to get what you need and what you want from your mate, I need you to have some effective communication. It's not about pointing the finger and you don't do this and you don't do that. It's about expressing, I love you and I really need this to be fulfilled in our relationship. Can we see the difference? Your presentation, ladies, you talk all the time about it. it's your tone. If you didn't talk so rough to me, I would I'd be happy to do what you asked me to do, but I get on the defense because it's your tone. Do y'all not think that men have the same issue? Listen. When you start talking about bringing the spark back and the excitement back into your sex life, put a little scent on. When I tell you, this K. Alley Vanilla Royale perfume is so good. It is so good. If you are looking for a new fragrance to try, I fell in love with the vanilla from K. Alley. And for Christmas, the honey bought me the vanilla and the vanilla Royale. I didn't even ask for this, or did I? I can't remember, but I don't think I did. But either way it go, he got this, and I'm so glad that he did. This scent, Jesus Lord. You talk about flirting, you talking about bringing the spark back, put some perfume on. Well, why, actually, I'm getting in the bed. Scent unlock memory. And if you want him at work having flashbacks because of all of the nasty stuff you just did to him last night, Take that fragrance, spray a little bit on his coat. He'll be at work. Don't put that coat. Oh, man. That smells just like a last night. Jesus, Lord. See what I mean? See what I mean? Put a little, not a lot, because you are getting in your bed. Not a lot. But hit a little quick on, on your night gown. Okay? So, anywho, that's also a great way to flirt. Y'all know I got a workbook coming out soon. 
how to flirt. Now, a lot of us are in relationships or we are in marriages. You think you don't need to know how to flirt? Yes, you do. That's how you bring that spice back too. That's how you undo that boring. Learn how to flirt. And when I drop this ebook February 1st, I need all of the ladies to support, okay? But anywho, let's get back into it. So number one, how do you bring back the spark? How do you make it unboring? Change your scenery. Y'all been having sex in that same bedroom since y'all bought that house 12 years ago. Go somewhere. It might be time for you to get bent over a balcony. It might be time for you to go and get a hotel room just so you can have loud sex. Because, you know, when them kids be in that other room, y'all try to be quiet. Y'all try to be quiet because you don't want them kids waking up. But you don't care nothing about them people in that hotel room. You ain't never going to see them again. Maybe you need to rent a hotel room that's down the street and go and do some nasty stuff in some other beds. Maybe it's time for a vacation. Like, realistically, when is the last time just you and your honey, you and your wife, when is the last time y'all went somewhere just y'all? It will get real nasty on the balcony. Do you hear what I'm saying? Go on a cruise. Go on a vacation. Go get a hotel room. Rent an Airbnb and pretend y'all are somebody totally different for a weekend. Go get an Airbnb with an island. You ain't got no island in your kitchen and it's okay, but that Airbnb got an island. Let them throw you up there on that island. A change of scenery will spark some things real quick. Now, y'all need to go fully knowing that y'all going to do some nasty things on this vacation. Don't let that be a time of the month. Don't let that be when you just got through working uh, seven doubles in a row and you're going to sleep the whole weekend. Go in a time where you can really enjoy it. Change your scenery up. That's one way to make sex not be boring again. Now, let me tell you something about date night. Go out, go have sex and be sneaky. Baby, ain't nothing sneakier than bathroom sex at the restaurant. You're not there for a long time. You're there for a good time. Listen, why do you think all of these people got these sneaky links and these situationships? It's not because they necessarily want to be an option. They want the situationship. It is the excitement of the sneaky link. I'm not supposed to be with you. See, men, take her shopping. That's a date. Ash, I shouldn't have to buy her something in order for me. No, I'm not saying that. But guess what? Y'all like looking at us when we look nice. You like looking at her in that nice dress. You like watching her get dressed and putting her oils and her moisturizers. Y'all like when your wives look beautiful, don't you? And you love the way it makes her feel when you know she's got a dress on that she feels beautiful in. So take her to the mall. I don't listen, the dress room, you gotta be careful for real. But take her to the mall and have her try that dress on. And then slide on in that dressing room real quick. That's a, that's a great idea. Start back going on date night if you hadn't already been going on date night. Because it is something about me putting on a nice dress and having you look at me up and down like you want to eat me up. Being out in public and I done had a glass of wine while I got dressed and then I had another glass of wine at the uh, restaurant and the music playing and I'm just so excited to not have to worry about no kids and I'm outside. You put me in the car, you was a gentleman. You was a gentleman. You put me in the car, you closed my door, you got me out of the car. It's the turn on to be treated well, right? So now that I'm in the restaurant, now we're getting frisky in the restaurant. Come meet me in the bathroom. You done decide today's date is to take me shopping. Let me holler at you in this dressing room. It, even if you don't go in the dressing room, let me holler at you in this family. Oh, let me put y'all on. The family restroom. Y'all know what the family restrooms are? In most malls, most big public spaces, they have a family restroom. It's, in, it's built with the intent of a mom or dad being able to take the stroller, the toddlers, the infants into the bathroom 
change the infant while your toddler sit over here and the stroller is here. Take her in that, in that damn the restroom. Okay? Uh, Y'all got them big old SUVs for a reason. Put them back seats down. If the truck is a rocking, don't come a knocking, baby. Put them, put them back seats down. Number three, try some different positions. Try some different positions. You don't know what you like until you try. And let's be honest, ladies, who, who's going to share? I'll share first. When you've gotten comfortable doing the same thing, trying something new is scary sometimes. Trying something new, even with your husband, is scary. Men, same for y'all. You know what you can do when you're hitting it from the back. But trying to put one leg up, one leg down while she on the side, you don't know what's going to happen. It's, it's scary. You ain't trying to mess up nothing. But how do you know it's not going to work? Men like to be initiated too. They like to be pushed back on that bed. Have their your way with them. Men like to be pursued too. Especially when it comes from their wife comes from their significant other. See them coming out the shack and jump on them. Just because when you start talking about spicing things up, that's part of breaking the routine too. If y'all have always had a routine that you lay down, you kiss you on your neck, you kiss you on your breast, you do a look, then y'all get he get on top and you get on top and y'all done. Y'all been doing the same thing for 15 years. Change it up. Let him come out the shower. And you get on down. Don't take the lipstick off. Tell him mess it up. You can wash them sheets later. Put them shout on them sheets. Even if your red lipstick thing, your good sheet, put them shout on it. Wash them out. That man come in that house. He get in the shower. You initiate. Well, Ashley, I'm nervous about that. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. You know what you're going to be nervous about? You're going to be nervous about sitting in front of that court, in front of that judge, because your husband has decided to lose, to divorce you. That work wife done decided she's going to do all the things that you ain't going to do because you're too nervous to be nasty. You wasn't nervous when y'all met. Him. He told me what he what you used to do. So let me do a quick recap for Ash After Dark as we stream live on YouTube and Facebook still. Yes, YouTube and Facebook, absolutely. So the whole point of this conversation was to discuss what do you do when sex has gotten born? You are in a long-term relationship. You are in a marriage. Nobody wants to go anywhere. You don't want to leave. But your sexual needs are not being met. The very first thing you're going to do is have a conversation with your mate, with your partner. Now, once y'all have effective communication and y'all both agree, yeah, babe, things have gotten a little mundane. What can we do? Y'all are going to do a change of scenery. Airbnb, hotel, vacation. Y'all ain't never had sex in the living room. Go have sex in the living room. Y'all are going to change up the location, a change of scenery. Number two, y'all are going to go back into doing date night. Date night is foreplay. Number three, y'all are going to change it up. Y'all going to try some new things, new positions. We leave your lipstick on, ladies. Tell them mess it up. Ladies, you initiate. These men folks told me they tired of initiating sex. They tired of being the one to ask for it, do all the work. And I sure hope y'all ain't no print, uh, pillow princesses out there. I sure hope that ain't the case. Right? Right. 